want to when you want to track two LMB, two satellites on one dish, I I want to track multi TV and DSTV. First of all, I have to track DSTV because multi TV. Okay, uh, DSTV is of uh, uh, is higher than multi TV, so DSTV must be on top of uh, uh, multi TV. Now I have to locate. Please bring it closer. Let I have to locate the DS uh, multi TV. Uh, Transponder, which is uh, 12525, is on it. So I have to make sure that I get a good signal. I have to be able to. Now, the the noise is letting me know this is the signal for multi, uh, multi TV 60, 62. So I have to tighten my dish. I have to tighten it. I have to tighten it to be very strong. So after tightening it, then I will now. Okay. Okay. So I've I got uh, a multi TV 63%. Now this is what I was trying to explain. You use this method. It's all to hunger. That's this is what me I normally use. You, I will first of all, you first of all tighten to the neck of this LMB. So this one will stand as an LMB holder. I normally use two uh, cables for the two satellites for easy communication. So after I got my DSTV, I will remove uh, the cable from the DSTV, uh, multi TV cable from here and put. The DSTV code. So after connection, then I will locate uh, the satellite and put the DSTV TP. Now, so this is how I'm, I want to track DSTV on top of the multi TV. So I will first of all put the, uh, the DSTV here, the LMB on top of. So this one now let me so when I want to track it now I have to make sure now this now I got you can hear the sound this is DSTV on top of multi TV I got 60% for for DSTV and 65% for multi TV. So like this, I know I now know where now. So I have to make sure after getting it, I have to make sure that this is why I will tight my my rope so i will tight it like this please are you watching me on top of this multi tv i will tight it like this very strong so after tightening it like this i have to make sure that it's very strong because this is where the signal i got it so I will leave it like that. Then go back, go and do a risk check the two satellites. If I'm still having the so I'll on my finder go to settings. Go to settings and make sure and check again for the signal. Now, let me check the the multi TV signal if it's also stable. So this cable, the second one, is for multi TV. That's why me I like using two cable for it so that it can be easy for me to. 
cross check my signal strength. It'll be easy for me to cross check my my signal strength. Now, Monty TV have a good signal. I have, I still have my Monty TV signal. Now I'll go back to check my the signal for my DSTV. If I still have it, I will I'll just change the cable and change the signal for my DSTV if I'm still having it. Okay, now. So. So, like this now, the signal is still intact. So, I have to make sure that this one. Now, I've, I've, I'm done with my work. I've gotten DSTV. DSTV now is 60% multi TV. If I connect the multi TV back, you see that sound. The, the final you can't see it so that sound the peep, uh, how it is now show that I got signal for DSTV now let me check the multi TV on again I will just remove this one put the multi TV on and change the transponder to multi TV now the signal is there so that means I got signal for the. I was able to track the two satellites on one dish, sister CM dish, sister CM dish. So this is how it is done. This is the easy way I normally do my own. Okay.